Following up on the success of the Read It Air from Vision Aid International, they've just come out with the new Zen and Zen Max. These are portable units, they connect to your computer. So they're typically less expensive than other things because they're using your computer and just adding a camera that connects into that. They can also be more powerful because they can add a lot of features into the camera. And these ones in particular are very easy to use, yet powerful, very light and portable, and then they're more affordable, as I mentioned, than other standalone reading machines that are out there. Let's take a quick look at the Read It Zen and the Read It Zen Max from VisionAid International. Welcome to iReadAT, Braille and Real Vision. So there's a lot of heavy claims about these devices here. First of all, you're supposed to be able to scan within about two seconds. It kind of depends on your computer, but you can get it as fast as two seconds scanning with these devices. So we're going to check into that and see how it really works using kind of a standard computer like we, we give to our training staff here. You also have an 18 megapixel camera on the Zen and the Zen Max. That will allow you to scan down to a six point font, which is kind of industry leading. So we're gonna check into that. We're gonna see how well it scans down to a six point font. Actually, we're gonna push it even further than that and see what we can get. So then one of the really amazing claims is on the Zen Max, you can scan up to an 11 by 17 page. So you can scan like an entire magazine spread. A lot of newspapers now are in this 11 by 17 tabloid format. So you can scan the entire thing in one go with the Read It Zen Max. You can get a eight and a half by 11 page with the Read It Zen and a full 11 and a half by 11 page with the Read It Zen Max. Now these are gonna connect in through the Read It software, which goes onto your Windows computer and allows you all kinds of powerful features when using it. All right, so we've heard some claims about how these things can perform. Why don't we take the Read It Zen and the Read It Zen Max into the testing room and check it out. Okay, to get started, we're gonna to need to open up the Read It software. I'll we'll open up the Read It software on my Windows computer. Read It is now ready. All right, so we have some claims we need to back up here. Can we scan in around two seconds or so? Well, we have a pretty kind of old computer kind of beat up here. This is what we give to our training team here but we're gonna give it a go on this guy and we're gonna see, this should be kind of similar probably to the kind of computer you have. So I can hit the little icon for camera, I can hit the enter button, um, a number of different ways I can scan here. So let me hit enter. Capturing. It's gonna wait a second, make sure nothing's moving, nothing's in the way. Make that sound, the sound. Recognizing. And we got 1,000, 2, 1,000. In room, Abrams is finishing his speech. Opad around two seconds or so on this kind of old computer. So it does what it says. All right, so next big thing is we're supposed to be able to scan text down to six point. I don't know if, uh, if you can see this thing I've got here, but it's, it's tiny. Um, guessing this is around six point. Um, so this is a pretty good test. This is also an entire magazine spread. We are going to do an entire spread, not just part of a spread, the entire thing, all in one go. This is a big claim to fame. Read it Zen, Max will do 11 by 17. Let's find out how it goes. Capturing. Here we go, and the magic there. It's gonna capture, now we got our two seconds. Recognizing. One, 1,000, do 1,000. In the screening room, Abrams is finishing his speech. The idea that we're hopefully reigniting the flame of... The whole thing. Just like that. Now, I've got touchscreen ability here, so I can zoom in. I also can hit, what's it, uh, control plus minus. We'll do that. I've also got some screen icons. Says Ford. Whoa. If you touch on a word, it will start to read from that point. From the start, Ford had a great deal to do with shape. Press on it again, it'll stop. You can also- Shaping Han Solo. Use the enter button to start and stop. Lots of different ways to do this. Mouse will work, touch screen, um, screen icons. Let me make sure you have lots of different ways that you can use this device. All right, so I promised that we'd give this baby a real test. So I've got the Zen camera here and I've got a pill bottle. This is not only a pill bottle, but it is a pill bottle that there's no way in heck I'm ever gonna read this in my whole life. Uh, take the glasses off, no hope. So 
I need to put this underneath this guy and see. Now granted, this is way less than a six point font. I don't think it's even like a two, um, but let's see what this thing can do. Capturing. All right. Recognizing. Not see used if printed C lunder cap is missing or damaged. Div ingredients. Each tablet contains <laughs> That's amazing. Milligrams warning. That's aspirin. amazing though. Look at this is it scanned this on a curved surface. Pretty cool. I think when they say that it's accurate, they're right. <laughs> so you have a lot of different views that you can also use with this. This is one of my, my favorite things about this reading system, and in fact, all the reading systems from Vision 8 International. They do, like pretty much all these reading machines, they'll show you what the computer text is, or they'll show you what the original document was, an image of that, and then read it back aloud to you. It's the only one I know of that does an overlay. It's a bunch of different reading choices that you get. Uh, you can, Visualization. can see that image. You can see an overlay on the image. You can see, like you see on a lot of these, where it just fills up the whole screen with computer text and gives you nice clean text. You can get one line, you can also get vertical, and you can get one word at a time. Uh, but my favorite is the overlay, because if you're reading a newspaper or you're reading something else, um, it's, it's nice to know, am I reading a photo caption? Am I reading the text? And what am I reading? And this one will show you because you actually see the entire document, just where there's text has been overlaid with a computer text so it's nice and crisp and clean and you can zoom in infinitely and always get the nice crisp text to read. So let me show you kind of how that works. So now I have something where I've got the computer text and I can zoom in, I can zoom in, I can get it to where I can actually read it. But then I still get my pictures and those things in there. How cool is that? Check out Han Solo, Leia, and Luke having a good time. They're not gonna be all weird. Um, I can look at the photos, I can read all at the same time without making any other changes. If I want to read somewhere, just touch magically, boom. But boy, he is oddly comfortable with seeing his face on posters and toy boxes. Very cool, very, very cool. So you have all these different overlays, and let me go through those. Visualization, column. You can also see it all just as one big screen like that. Visualization, horizontal. You can see it all in one row. Boxes, I'm surprised as to how my brain is taking it in. Visualization, okay. vertical. You can do it vertically. Visualization, and you can do it one word at a time. In, like, oh, okay. The experience is more intense for Ridley, who previously had And of course you can change the reading speeds and all those all those types of things. So let me get back Visualization, overlay. Get back to my overlay. So I can also change the contrast that I have. If I I personally I love my white on black, but say you want another contrast. You can change that in the menus, you can change it all kinds of ways. For me it's easier, I just hit the L on the keyboard. Black on yellow, yellow on black, blue on yellow, yellow on blue, black on green, green on black, black on cyan. Obviously it reads all those things back to you. you just keep pressing it till you find the one you want. Cyan on black, black on white, white on black. There's my baby, right there. There's a lot of different ways that you can control the Zen and the Zen Max. You can use the computer keyboard. You can use the computer touchscreen. You can use a mouse. You can use also an external feature pack that's an option that you can get with the Zen and the Zen Max. There's lots of different ways to control this. Make it real easy for you to do a lot of things with these devices, even if you don't have a lot of computer knowledge. So there's this feature pack that you can use and just makes it kind of like it's a standalone reading machine. I can zoom in. I can Enhanced change grayscale binary. I can change different contrast things. I can change the view. Column, horizontal, vertical, word, image, overlay. You can scroll through the words in different ways. That's a pretty cool way to navigate. You can do multi-page scanning. You can do regular scanning. You can, if you want to not use, or well, say you don't have a touch screen, you can do kind of the same things. Use a joystick to move around the screen. 
And then when I know where I want to read, I just press the joystick. When Abrams told her she had won the part of Ray, her and it starts reading. So it just makes it a really another cool, easy way. If you're like me and you just, you know, computer scare me, um, I can just use this little thing. It's so handy. Um, real cool addition to the Read It system. And this is the same keypad that you use with the standalone reading machine from Vision 8 International. It's pretty cool. Same way to use everything. Everything kind of works all the same. Oh, besides the keypad, then we can use the touch screen use the icons on the screen. You can use the keyboard. There are lots of different ways to control this. Just kind of whatever makes it easy for you because you can do a lot with this, but it doesn't have to be hard to use. You just, like me, I don't know how to use half the stuff on it, but I can use what I, what I need to know. And we'll give you a training on the full use of it. So if you really want to go deep with this, we'll, we'll have that for you. Another key feature of the Read It software and these Zen cameras is that you can scan in a whole book. So I don't have to sit here and just like scan one page at a time and keep my place and book closes and all that fun stuff. It's gonna just scan through multi-page for me. Now to do that, I can press a button on the feature pack. I can use one of the menus in there. Um, or I just like to do, I'm just gonna press shift enter. Multiple captures started. And that starts now. As long as I'm moving around doing things, it's not going to take a picture until I'm ready. I'm going to be still, and it's going to take the picture. Turn page. And tell me to turn the page, and same deal. Until I'm still, it's not going to take it. And I'm still, so we'll take the picture. Turn page. And you just can kind of go through the book and scan it all in, and then it's just all in there ready for you. Turn page. You don't have to dig out the book, carry it around, whatever. Just take a few minutes and scan the thing in. Turn page. Makes it super handy to get books in and, like I say, not carry books around. Turn page. And when I'm done, I'm just going to hit escape. Multiple captures stopped. All right, so now when I want to read this, it's just right on there. I can flip page through the pages. 12. Page 13, page 14, page 15. Just flip page right 16. through. Introduction, Intr page 15, page 14, page 13, page 12, page 11, about. Then anywhere I want to read, I just press and start reading. Langer, who was 10 years old and blind, participated in Eyes in the Mind. It's a really cool way to scan everything in quickly with a multi-page scan and the Read It software. So you can also use the Read It Zen and the Read It Zen Max as a live video magnifier. A lot of these reading devices, because they want to capture really well, they have really good cameras, but they don't necessarily have it set to a good refresh rate, which is necessary for using it as a live magnifier. Well, the Zen and the Zen Max have two settings. So you can set it and use the full 18 megapixel camera and get a lower refresh rate, but get a really crisp picture to take those photos that you're scanning for your OCR. But then you can also use a live scanning mode that allow it to refresh faster, look more like a regular CCTV. You can write under it and do all the things that you'd expect to do under a live video magnifier with a device that in a lot of cases is typically just a reading device. Well, with Read It Zen and Read It Zen Max, you get a reading device and a live video magnifier all in one. So now that I'm in the 1080p mode, I can move around, the image doesn't get all choppy on me, I can write under here, I can do the kinds of things that I expect to do with a live CCTV. So, so many of these powerful features are available on Windows, but did you know that you can also use an iPad with the Read It Zen? Let's check it out. I'm going to unplug the USB from the computer and take out my iPad. I have to use an adapter to get into the USB-C on there. And then I can just plug in the camera. And now we're connected into the iPad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the Read It Lite software. And now I am viewing on my iPad. I can change contrasts. I can pinch and zoom, do live panning can change the, the contrast here to fine tune it. 
I can freeze, I can save images, I can take video on my iPad if I wanted to, I can switch to the forward facing camera and frighten myself. Um, so there's a bunch of different views. You can use the powerful view for, for really seeing clearly. And then also uh, right now I'm using the 30 frames per second so I can do writing and do other things. So if I want to, I can even use the Zen camera with my iPad. So the Read at Zen and the Read at Zen Max are very easy to set up. It just takes a couple of minutes to unfold the camera, plug it in, get it set up. And then when you're done using it, it's equally easy to take it down. Just unplug the cord, wrap it up, put it in the case, fold down the camera, put it in, and take it on your way. Now there's a whole lot about the Readit software that I didn't cover today. We'll make sure that we have a video upcoming shortly that gives you a full tutorial of all the different features of the Readit software, and you can see the true power of the Readit software. Make sure to subscribe to the iRay A2 YouTube channel for more great videos on the latest in Braille and low vision products.